Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video and the final video on the Volkswagen Crafter. We've just had a chat and we've decided we're going to kind of do the same process on this van as we did with the Volkswagen Transporter because it worked out really well. So we're going to try and get it all wrapped up in this video. In the last video we repaired, painted and guide coated this panel. We're now getting it ready for the paint shop. Chris is flattened that off. He did get carried away because off camera the next day he ended up doing another bit of work on it. The grill's now straightened out, that's in the back ready to go. So you saw us doing that wing and that was as far as we was gonna go. We was only gonna do the small dents. And Chris said, Rob, that is an eyesore. I've got to do something about it. That was pretty bad up there. And I come in one morning and he'd already filled it and started the process of rubbing it down. So we've ended up doing that as well. And he said, there's a join now and there's a join up there. So there's no blend. He can just paint that one part. So Chris is gonna start flattening all of those parts off. I'm gonna get inside, start putting it back together and we'll pick up from there. That's the driver's side panel, all completely flattened back and ready for paint. A couple of the comments in the last video I wanna pick up on because they was quite popular, the comments, uh, the questions actually. So it'd be nice if I can put them in now. Quite a few people said, Rob, why does Chris do it by hand and don't use the DA? The answer to that is the DA, the vibration, plays havoc with his arthritis. So he don't use it for that reason. And the other reason as well is when using the block you can feel it a lot better and it just makes a nicer job of it so that's that side all completely done now moving on to the front wing we've got a little bit there to do and that little piece up there and then hopefully we can get this to the paint shop occurred to me when I went to pick up where we left off on the video we was in such a rush I never said right that's it all done and now it's ready and we're off to paint so yeah what we're picking up and it is actually back from paint now what do you think of that guys we'll have a proper look at it a bit later it does slightly look black and white when you compare it to there and that side but we had the same with the Volkswagen Transporter. The rest of it is gonna need a good clean and detail, and I'm sure that will blend in just lovely. Let's move round, but guys, look at that panel. Well, Chris repaired it. This was all caved in here. In fact, I'm gonna put a little picture in now. And just look at the difference. It's definitely, definitely glad that we did do that. Moving around this side, what did we have done? Up there above the door, that was pretty punched in there. And I didn't even know, I'd just come in one morning, Chris was up a ladder and he'd filled it and started the work. So we went and got that done as well. And of course, that front wing that was all dented in. So I'm gonna get on now and get all this cleaned, get it all matching just before I do get started. This is what you call dedication. Look at this weather. And I'm gonna be out there quite a while spinning that up. Thank you. 
touch there now. We've got to go around and do all the touching up, but I've actually put that piece of that front wheel in there because I thought that you'd really appreciate and enjoy that, spraying a bit of that um, tar remover on there and letting it do its magic before washing it off. Chris is going around with a cloth, just getting all the other little excess bits of tar off. He done that back wheel and we got a couple of little touch-ups to do. You would have seen, I've just had a good go at the back doors. They're never gonna be, sorry, it's quite windy out here. They're never gonna be beautiful, but that is the best we can get them. I'm gonna move on and spin up the other side. done and gone as far as we can go now guys I'm gonna whip it down the car wash as normal give it give it a quick wash get rid of any them little white dots that might be left on it with their high pressure jet washer and of course have all these bumpers all blacked up and have the grills blacked up as well but we're really happy with how it's come out I'm not gonna to go too much into it because we'll do a nice walk around on it as soon as I come back from the car wash trim gel I was on about they use down the car wash I'm gonna put a link for this in the description. Once he's rubbed that in, all the panels actually look like new. Look at the difference in those. It really is good stuff. And now it's drying, all those lines are gone as well. We are coming to an end with the van now. And I'm just standing back admiring it myself, where it's come from. And I am gonna try and, throughout this video, put little clips in there of what it did look like when we first got it. The most impressive part is probably this seat. I mean, the state of this seat, I'm gonna include a picture now. And look at the difference, it's just unbelievable. We never expected it to come back like that. Again, all the dashboard was covered in boot prints and horrible marks, and most of them come out. I can't remember who it was. We get quite a lot of comments, but one of you subscribers reached out and said, Rob, buy a mat. They come tailor-made off of um, off the internet, 20 quid. So we ordered one of them, and I think you'd agree. It really has finished it off in there now. It really does look smart and tidy. Again, in the back, all of these seats were covered in tarmac. And they've just come up fantastic i mean we do have to stop somewhere we would have loved to have put one of those black rubber mats in there but that's going to be for the new owner to decide whether they want to do that or not just moving round to the back this was definitely the worst part of the van and i'd still adamantly say now it was the most dirtiest van i've ever seen in the back definitely it was terrible in there chris worked his magic we've reboarded it out put all that new floor in there and that's ready for someone to go and use now moving around this side again we'll have a good look around the outside in a minute i'll shut all the doors but in the front here it's a nice place to be everything's nice and clean and bright and this seat if you remember we had it repaired here it is the same color material but it is i don't for some reason that's a bit worn and that's not but again it's not really going to bother anybody it's now perfect it's got a new piece of foam in there and it's all repaired i'll get the door shut and we'll walk around the outside and stand quite far back i've noticed in a lot of the videos i'm always far too close and we never really i never get everyone to appreciate how good it looks standing too close to it because you can't see it but it speaks for itself now down this side obviously we had that little repair on the wing there and that bit of the roof up above the door and they've both come out fantastic we worked really hard on those wheels with that tar remover and they've come up fantastic i initially thought that they was going to need a refurb but they didn't they come out lovely moving round to the back the back doors, all we've actually done with those back doors is clean them. 
there wasn't anything else we could do. They have got a few little dents pointing outwards, but again, that's not something we wanted to get involved in. We wanted to get this project done and get it on the way. Moving on to the driver's side, that's where the worst of the damage was. If you remember, just under that window in the, in the panel there, there was quite a nasty gouge showing surface rust and it was very much out of shape. Chris got in there with a hammer, I was outside with a dolly. We got that straightened out, done the body work on it, and then we whipped it up to the paint shop and they done all of the paint work on it. But guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm really proud of us on this project. I'm really happy with how it come out. And I think whoever buys it is gonna have a really, really nice van. The front of it, with all that black on the bumpers, really does make it stand out, and it does look so nice. Let's stop waffling on, get inside, and finally crunch the numbers. It's time for everybody's favourite part, the numbers. I've also written a couple of notes down on here, because it's stuff that I always forget. I love getting the comments. As you know, I read through all of them. And I've noticed lately, it's quite a lot of people say Rob can you put a, have you got a link for that product have you got a link for this and I guys I do genuinely always forget to put it in or mention it so for any products that we've used like the polish the bumper gel etc etc I'm going to put a link for all of those in the description right the numbers quite a lot of you guessed how much we paid for that van and some people got really really close it's going to be quite noisy. It's raining quite hard and we've got a tin roof. So we actually paid for that van £2,500. But you see the state of it. The products, another bit. So, tar remover on G101, £40. The seat repair was £60. New bit of foam and the cloth. The boarding in the back was £108. The silicones and screws for the boarding in the back was £10. The, the nice mat that's inside it is £20. And if you remember on the passenger side, I forgot to show it, the actual jack cover was missing. We got one of those off eBay and that was £20. Filler, primer, etc., £50. Um, odometer fix, the mileage thing got question marks we still haven't got that done valet that we just had done 30 pounds and paint 250 so we got a total of 3088 pound now it's definitely worth that i'm not sure it was worth the two and a half when it was in that state but that is definitely we're well happy with how much that's that's come to at the end so a lot of you as well do always ask how long did it take you so we did jot that down today. Cleaning that van was four solid days. Boarding it out one day, Chris made light work of that. Body work, again, it was quite, quite tough and that took two days. Mopping it up and etc. what I did uh, in this video was one day. Reassembling everything back together was one day. So we got a total there of nine days. And that's where I wanted to pick up on another thing that I've got written down here. I know that throughout this series, there has been quite a lot of time lapse. And number one, we like to use time lapse because it shows that we are the only people here and it is just us doing these projects. If we have any jobs done outside, we always mention it and put it in there, like the painting. And again, the time lapse, if we didn't, we'd be filming an eight hour video because we do try and pick up everything we do throughout the day. I don't think I've got anything else written down here. No, I've mentioned about the products, links in the description, and that is about it. So we have come to the end of the series on the van, but I'm not gonna forget the most important thing. We haven't got a buyer for the van. I know some people did show an interest and reached out to me, but. I'll probably be putting, I'll put a collage of pictures on Instagram, advertising it for sale, and people can drop me a comment on there if they're interested. 
We're not going to take any offers on it. We're going to stick to our guns, what we want for it, and we think it's a very, very reasonable five and a half thousand pounds. So there you go. Well, we didn't write down how much profit that was, but it owes us three thousand and eighty-eight. So you can work that out quite easily. So that is going to be the end of today's video and the end of the Volkswagen Crafter. I nearly said Transporter there series. So that's both of those vans turned around, and one's gone and the other one is ready to go. If you did enjoy this video, please do give us a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it, and it shows your appreciation. Check us out on Instagram, where we put little sneak peeks out throughout the day, showing what we're up to, and it kind of gives you an idea of what's upcoming and what to expect. We've got a merchandise section. Check that out. The link is in the description. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you all, everybody, for following this build, and we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.